Hi everyone, I'm Lightway Val, and this is my current YouTube hardware setup. Today I'm going to show you an unboxing of the acoustic foam microphone screen. And I'm starting here to show you, this is the corner that I use for recording. This is my Blue Yeti microphone, which I unboxed recently, and I've got a video on that. This is where I'm set up for gaming. The cables come in from the other room where the Xbox is, and I record here on my Mac. But as you can see, and possibly here from this corner, we've got hard walls, we've got a hard desk, and I, I notice a bit of reflection in the sound from the microphone, so I wanted to do something about that. So let's take a look at the product, unbox it, and see what I've got. So here we are guys, this is the box, it seems like quite a big box. This box, this is for the acoustic foam microphone screen, which I bought on Amazon. It came inside another Amazon box, so I've opened that, and this is how it arrived inside. It's not very heavy, but it's quite large. The idea is, I, you can see from this fairly poor picture, I'll put a better one up on screen, that it wraps around the microphone with foam to protect it from external sounds and reflections of the recorded sound. So I'm going to open this. It's been really well taped up, I have to say. They've taped it up all around very well. So let me open this up and we'll see what we've got inside. So it was recommended that I also record these using a tripod. So I've got a second camera set up to do that, but we are now into this box. Let's see what we've got. So, okay, interesting. So it's most, <laughs> mostly air inside here. We've got a bag, we've got something down the side here, some foam to protect something maybe. What's that? That's protective foam. Don't need that. Let's lift this bag out. Oh, this is our product. Here we are. Wow, we'll take a look at that in a second. We also have uh, the bracket, so I'll explain that in a moment. So, here is our product. I read some of the questions and answers that were on... So Sorry if the bag is loud. I read some of the questions and answers that were on Amazon. Let's get rid of the bag. Let's get rid of the box. And that's our product. It's essentially a large piece of cut foam, which is awesome. Your microphone obviously stands here. You've got, uh, you can either cut should you wish or just slide your uh, cables out underneath the back of the foam or around the front, whichever works for you. And this is going to protect from sound. So, it comes with this extra bracket here. Now this, I don't know if this, bag, oh, this bag's fully sealed. I'm gonna have to open this to get this out, but to be honest, I'm not, is it worth it? I don't need this. Oh no, it's not sealed, it's resealable. Clang, it's metal. Let me just open this up. It's got a resealable edge on it down here. Now, this is a stand for the foam. Let me get this out. Here we go. So this, the idea of this is if you have your microphone on an arm or on a microphone stand, this can screw in using the accompanying, I'm not gonna keep hanging that on the table. This comes with some accompanying hardware here. So you can screw this, put this onto your stand with your microphone above it here, and then this goes into some tiny little pre-cut sliced holes. There's one on either end. Let me just open it up a little bit so I can slide that all the way down in there. There we go. Then that, look at that. You hold it, essentially your microphone will go there and this holds itself, it's rigid enough, around your microphone. And your microphone goes in the middle and this absorbs the sound. So that is fantastic. We've got some little bits of extra foam just from the uh, manufacturing process there. Don't need that. Wow, this looks really cool. So, how does it sound? Let's go try it out. Okay, three, two, one, and you're back in the room. So this is being recorded on the Blue Yeti, this audio, and this is obviously without the microphone screen. I just noticed as well, 
as I was bringing it into the room that it's actually got this little logo on it, pro acoustic logo in the corner. So it's not just a lump of foam. Isn't that good? Anyway, what we're going to do is I'll show you after this some examples of gameplay recorded with commentary with and without or pre and post the screen installed. But for now, let's place the screen there. And now you can see what difference that makes to the audio here in this video. Now, I'm about a meter away from the microphone. I'm, yeah, just over three feet, I would say. Normally, I play at about half this distance. So the bits that you'll hear next will be much more indicative of how my recordings are going to sound. Hi everyone, I'm Lightwave Al. Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Hi everyone, I'm Lightwave Al. Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. And here I'm in the room at the distance I would normally record at when I'm playing. This is without the microphone screen installed. So this is what I sound like. I'm going to place the screen now. And this is the audio with the screen installed. I feel like I hear myself slightly differently. As you can hear, it sounds a little bit different. And there we go, guys. As you can hear, it actually makes quite a difference. So I'm really impressed with that. So one other thing I forgot to mention <laughs> was that the microphone is set up with a short half meter cable that I bought after I did the unboxing of the video. The, the microphone comes with, I think it's a three meter cable, uh, which is way longer than I need, as you can see from my setup. The microphone's close to the computer, so I only need something short, but I might get a longer cable, maybe one meter, so that I can have the cable um, go out the bottom of the screen and up to the laptop, have the microphone a little bit closer to me, and have the screen wrap more around the microphone. So that's just my personal preference, but at the moment the way I've set it up is obviously to shield the microphone from those hard corners of the room. I've got another few bits of hardware that I'm going to review for my microphone coming up in some new videos soon as well. So watch out for those. And as I mentioned, guys, I did get this on Amazon. It cost about £30, and I'll put some links in the description for you below. But this has been quite a good purchase. I'm really pleased with it. I think when I've got an arm for my microphone, it'll be really useful to be able to mount this on the arm. And whether it's upright or upside down, the bracket goes in really firmly to the foam and it holds it really well. So it holds it upside down all the right way up. So it doesn't really matter which orientation you have your microphone. And yeah, I think it's not a bad piece of kit. So there we go, guys. Hopefully this has been of use to you. If you've had any questions about this particular product, it might have answered them for you. If you've got any other questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.